For some time I have wanted to do a series of videos on digital modulation. Unfortunately, due to a number of factors, I was off on other things. I didn't have the necessary equipment. Uh, there were some health issues and other things that all got in the way. But I am happy to report that now I'm ready to get on with that. In front of you is an NSTEC spectrum analyzer. On the screen is a 1 gigahertz signal being shown. Above it is the Rigol DSA815 that is also displaying a 1 gigahertz signal. Now those signals are coming from this HP generator and also from the Triarchy vector signal generator that I recently reviewed in some other videos. So why am I showing you all of this? Well, where I would like to go is I'd like to use this vector signal generator along with a spectrum analyzer to do some experiments in digital modulation. But before I can do that, I needed to get a spectrum analyzer that would actually do digital demodulation. The Triarchy does a good job of generating uh, digital signals using its IQ or vector signal generator. Eventually, and for reasons that I'll talk about when I do the review, I settled on the Signal Hound USB SA44B. The reason that I did that is because one of the problems that analy hardware analyzers like the Instec and the Rigol have is they really were designed in the day when most of the signals that were being looked at were analog modulation. Now they are modern digital signal analyzers or spectrum analyzers, but they do not have a lot of analysis of digital signals, uh, digital modulation built in. Neither are there good software packages available for either of these to do that. And so one of the reasons that I chose the spectrum analyzer from SignalHound is because it has a piece of software called Spike that contains a good digital demodulation tool package. Now for those of you that are not familiar with spectrum analyzers, I have done a series on spectrum analyzers and in which I also compared this NSTEC with the RICOL, the relative features of each. But none of that talks about digital modulation or demodulation. So where I would like to go from here is, first, if you need some review of spectrum analyzers and their basic features and functions, I suggest that if you will look on my channel, you'll find a playlist for the comparison or for a series of videos called Spectrum Analyzers, in which there are a lot of background material about things like resolution, bandwidth, and phase noise, and so on, that are interesting and useful. But at any rate, whether it's a review or whether it's uh, coming to it for the first time, I suggest that you look at some of that. I also will suggest that, particularly when it comes to some of the equipment over here, that you might want to look at the review that I did of the Triarchy, that is of this vector signal generator. There also are some other vector signal generators on YouTube, including one that's made by Signal Hound. The reason that I chose the Triarchy is because the Signal Hound only goes to 2.5 gigahertz, and I wanted to do some experiments in the 5 gigahertz range. Now, the Spectrum Analyzer does not go that high, but, but I do have methods for doing those experiments, but I wanted something that would go to at least 5.8 gigahertz, and the Triarchy does that. Now I'd like to show you a couple of the alternatives that I looked at 
before I purchased the Triarchy. I was initially inspired to go down this route of doing uh, some tutorials on digital signal modulation by this review of the Signal Path, uh, the Signal Path blog did. It is uh, number 75 and it's of the Tektronix DSG 4106A. I really enjoy the Signal Path and, and the videos that he does. So inspired to do that, I went online to see what one of those might cost and whether it would suit some of the needs. Well, unfortunately, the cost is rather high. So I wanted to look at something a little bit lower price than that. And so the next one that I considered was a much lower priced vector signal generator from SignalHound, the VSG25A. When I looked at the specs, I realized that it only goes to two and a half gigahertz. And I really was looking to do something that would go up into the 5.8 gigahertz bands. Then I received an email late last year during Cyber Week from Sailing. And they were offering a generator. It was on sale for a lot less than the normal price. And quite frankly, after looking at the specs of that unit, I decided I would try one even if it wasn't the thing I was looking for, it would at least be something that was inexpensive enough that if I had to throw it away, I wouldn't be uh, shedding crocodile tears. One of the reasons that I chose the Triarchy over the Signal Hound, even if it weren't for the frequency differences, this goes to 6 gigahertz. Actually, I think it's 6.2 gigahertz. But the main thing is the availability of these outputs that allow you to output the I and Q signals in both their normal and inverted uh, phase, as well as the ability to output the clock and a pulse uh, that you can use that is synchronized to all of the other operations inside this unit. So once again, take a look at that one if you're interested. Then, as I mentioned, I needed a method of doing vector signal analysis. I could generate them now. Now I needed a way to do that. And as I pointed out, eventually I settled on the Signal Hound SA44B. Let me show you the three units that I considered before I bought that unit. Once again, based on a video from the Signal Path, this one number 37, I consider the Tektronix RSA306. Now this uh, comes in two models. This is the review of the 306A. It had some problems. And if you watch this video, you'll see the pro some of the problems pointed out by the signal path. Some of those problems have been corrected with a 306B model. So you might want to look at that before you make any decisions in that direction. I took a look at another signal path video, number 52, on a signal hound. So I went to the signal hound website and looked at the B660 or B60C and I saw that uh, it does go to 6 gigahertz. It is a real-time spectrum analyzer. It competes, I think, directly with the Tektronix RSA306. But while I was on the signal hound website, I came across a yet additional spectrum analyzer, and that is the SA44B. That is the unit that I decided to get. And part of the reason is I wanted to see how useful the Spike software is. For learning purposes, this is a very useful instrument. And so one of the things that I'll be talking about as I go along is how this generator and spectrum analyzer, that is the Triarchy and the Signal Hound, can be used to do analysis of digital modulation signals. Before I actually go there, I would like to do one last shot at the Triarchy because I left that review in a little bit of a state of limbo 
You may recall that uh, I ran into a problem with calibration. I later fixed that problem. So I did a short video on how that, how I fixed that. And I'd like to append that to the end of this and then move on to the introduction to digital signal modulation that will be the next in this series of videos. On the screen is the CD that came with my uh, generator and this is the top level directory. If you copy this, in other words if you right click on it and go down here to copy and then go paste that for example into, in my case, I put it in my documents folder, see over here. Once you've done that, that is copied it to your hard drive, then go to that location, open this up and you'll see there is a document directory and a, an SW for software file. Click on SW file and open that and you'll see setup and the document file. Now the directories or the files I should say for calibrating the unit are in the document file. The important thing is that whatever the file you put this program in that the setup program and that document file be in the same directory. Then simply click on the setup. Now notice I did not use any of the Windows 7 or Windows 10 autoplay or uh, setup wizards or anything like that. This is the only method that worked for me. So I hope it will work for you. Once I had the Triarchy Vector Signal Generator properly calibrated, and working according to specs and as I mentioned in the review of that unit it's a pretty good unit at least in my opinion. Then I had to install and learn to use the uh, USB spectrum analyzer from SignalHound, the SA44B. I'll be doing a kind of a review add-on for that as a future video but for right now, what I want to do is simply introduce where we're going. The next video in this series will be an overview of digital modulation. At that point, I will also then talk a little bit about equipment, and that's when I will do an overview of the digital modulation capabilities of the Triarchy and the Signal Hound. Then we will move into experiments after we have a basic understanding of what digital modulation is all about. So look forward to the overview of digital modulation as the next video in this series. And in the meantime, have a nice day.